Well, good day, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide. We are on February 23rd, 2020. Welcome to another surviving day on this planet. My apologies, two days without uploads. I've been very busy with work. Bear with me. Thank you. We're looking here at Solar Dynamics Observatory, 304 angstroms, checking out our sun. Not much but plasma filaments to talk about. No coronal hole. Southern coronal hole re region building a little. And some small sunspots trying to build, gain energy. But nothing has formed. No sunspots, no coronal holes affecting our planet. We do have Mercury getting ready to go full retrograde with Earth and the Sun. We should be able to see it on SDO here in the next few days as it will be passing and transiting in front of the Sun. Looking here at the last 24 hours, sorry, last 48 hours for earthquakes from around the world. First, the last 24 hours. Looking here, most recent 5.7 in Saray, Turkey, followed by some pretty sizable aftershocks, 4.3 and 4.4. Thoughts and prayers to everybody in Turkey. We know that these Turkey earthquakes can be devastating. Old infrastructure just cannot handle it. A lot of movement, west coast or west side ring of fire, 5.2 there in Russia, and some fours moving down to Mariana's Trench, just north of it, as well across Indonesia, 5.1 and a 5.3. And then Tonga region, 5.2. And our deepest earthquake the last little while was in Japan. 140 kilometer depth. Looking at all these earthquakes, South American plate to West Chile rise. 5.5, 5.0 yesterday. Into Central America, earthquake swarm continues. Dominican, some minor rumbles, Colombia and Ecuador. Yesterday, uh, West Coast saw 4.3 there, Petrolia, California, minor rumbles all along the coastline. Let's look at the last seven days for earthquakes from around the world. Many elevated rings. We're going through a deep earthquake event right now. And it seems to be sending the energy to the volcanoes around the world. Let's have a look at the Pacific Disaster Center here. Most recent disasters right away showing a lot of floods and as well tropical cyclone number 19, which is the cyclone that's going to be affecting the Northern Territory of Australia. And as well, many forest fires across Chile and South America. And showing here eight volcanoes that have been updated in the past three hours. And here is uh, the current situation over the Northern Territory of Australia, Tropical Cyclone number 19, who's going to make it on land and head straight across the Northwestern continent. We also have Tropical Cyclone Wasi, and this cyclone is just south of Samoa. So Australia is going to be dealing with a deluge of rain as this Tropical Cyclone affects Northern Territory, but we also have pop-up thunderstorms all along the eastern side and northeast, northeast side of the continent over the next few days. So watch for torrential downpours, flash floodings. Across the United States, situation is not getting any better as this jet stream that is riding the same erratic line all the way across the Atlantic is bringing moisture from the Pacific straight across Southeast. United States and up into Canada later in the week. 
also watching a very large and dense low develop here off the west coast of Africa. We're going to be watching that over the next couple of days. This could turn into a cyclone heading towards Liberia. So stay aware and prepare my friends and family in Africa. You could have some pretty intense weather heading your way. Also watching here, large Atlantic low. Get to the five day forecast brought to you by Meteor Earth, Meteo Mike, starting out here looking at home base. You can see cold temperatures moving in here as in the five day forecast, but it's still a roller coaster event. Daytime plus five, nighttime minus 10, which is amazing and a drastic temperature change here in Alberta. And we didn't get much snow at all yesterday. I was expecting five, maybe even 10 centimeters, but that, uh, that Alberta clipper moved quickly south. Colder temperatures moving in northern Alberta, extreme cold, and as well northern Manitoba. This is the Alberta clipper that formed. We'll be heading into Quebec, but then watch this Colorado low moving in. And another Alberta clipper following behind it, bringing in cold temperatures. So watch for an extreme weather event across Ontario, up into Quebec and the Atlantic provinces this week. Overlooking Europe, cooler temperatures moving in here over the next few days. We'll be bringing heavy snowfall amounts into Central Europe, parts of Romania, Russia, China, cold high pressure ridge hanging out. We still have a situation across Turkey as well. Heavy, heavy snow amounts. And then watch as this high pressure ridge moves east and brings a lot of extreme weather with it throughout Pakistan and into Mongolia. Overlooking the Pacific Ocean, still large low pressure systems spinning around, gaining momentum and just coming back. Overlooking Australia, tropical cyclone number 19, still not named. Again, I want to thank everybody for watching today. Please share this video and smash the like button if you really like this video. Share with your friends and family so that we can all stay aware and prepared. Our earth is changing drastically, sometimes overnight. Thoughts and prayers to everybody. God bless humanity. Overlooking Africa, atmospheric river of moisture from this from the antarctic moving all the way down across madagascar and into mozambique south america same thing atmospheric river stretching from antarctica straight across brazil bolivia paraguay peru flooding across every continent around the world right now we're going to leave you here looking at the northern hemisphere versus the southern Again, thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe. Share with your friends and family. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your morning due. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world. Thank you.